I know it can actually get pretty easy to get curriculum fatigue if we are researching curriculum. I know because I love to research curriculum and I love to look at it. And, you know, I love to be able to bring for you some different reviews of different curriculum. I have done a few before and today is one that I really love that I have used and I want to tell you about it because I think that it is a great curriculum and you might not have heard of it. It is called Moving Beyond the Page. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life, and thank you for joining me as I do another curriculum review. Have you seen any of my others? I've done like Torchlight, I've done a Becca, I have done a quite a number of different ones, including just some on like different math curriculum. I'll put the links down below. You know, I love to be able to come out here and help friends and help people to look at different curriculum and see what works for them. Now, I will say straight from the start, this is not a sponsored post. They have not reached out to me, sent me curriculum, asked me to do it. This is just me wanting to present an option to you of one that I have used before and I think very highly of. Though today we are going to look at the pros and the cons of this curriculum. Okay, so to me that this is this is important. That's why I've done other reviews. It's why I keep bringing this information. So I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for your likes and for your subscribes and for the way that you do share with friends, especially when you find something of value with this. Thank you so, so much. So have you heard of moving beyond the page? This to me like is a great curriculum. As I said, I used it before actually in a small school setting of like multi-age classes. And I found this to be such a great curriculum that it is there in my mind that if my girls are ever at that point that we really do want to follow like a complete curriculum, this is one that we will use because I do love like their whole ethos and their heart to it. To pull like from their website and how they describe, they say your children will grow in their love of learning through our literature-based curriculum that encourages critical and creative thinking, provides challenging and engaging projects, and supports different learning styles. With moving beyond the page, each day is different. Every activity is designed to instill a love of learning and creative expression. I love that critical thinking, creative thinking, like projects, uh, different learning styles. Yes, yes, yes. So this is why I want to bring this one to you today, because it really has so much that we can be using. As I said, let's look at the pros and the cons of it, because we do want to be able to weigh up whether it is right for our family. Pros of moving beyond the page. This is a complete curriculum, which is wonderful. Like it has language arts, which includes like literature, grammar, writing, and more social studies, science, and math. Now, when I was using it, they didn't have math. So it's been wonderful to see that they have added this. Um, But, you know, this is great. Like it's right there. When I mean complete, and I'm talking about, you know, we've got all the, it arrives like in one big box, like everything that you need which is wonderful, the books that you need, all the different activities. Now, there might be some things you have to go out and get, like those little consumables, but there's a shopping list that tells you what you need to get at the beginning of the unit. So I said, it is there, it is complete, it is unit-based. I love unit studies, where language arts ties in with social studies, that you see those connections. Same with science and language arts, like there's all these beautiful connections. And so they also have these great hands-on activities. Now there's projects, there's like all these great sort of explorations. It's multi-sensory, like it's so good for all the different learning styles. Like I remember doing like even as part of like language arts, we had like craft projects or like when we were doing like the slavery era and they were talking about that they would make these quilts that told stories we got to do that and really sort of step into the story and try to, how could we tell this in a beautiful, creative, artistic way? So these to me, like such, such wonderful things. You know, if you love literature, then this is for you. 
and we're talking like good quality literature, the classics, like new books as they come out that tell rich stories using fiction and nonfiction across like in science, like in all of that. To me, this is like one of like my highlights. Like I love how literature based that it is and the quality that they use is just so wonderful. If you are someone that likes little prep work, then this is also great for you, especially if older students can really work independently. You do need a little bit more when they're younger, of course, but it is a curriculum that you can pick up and run with without having to have too much sort of, you know, prep and planning into what needs to happen. So I said, and it's all there for you. Maybe you need to just go out and buy a few things here and there. It also meets like state and national requirements. It's not meeting common core, which is fine, totally fine. But if you look at what the different states and then the national requirements are for schooling, look, these guys meet it and really often exceed it. So if you're worried about standards, don't be worried. You know, I know it looks a little different, the fact that the entire thing is unit based. But to me, this is a great thing, just showing all of these connections. It has a constructivist approach which I love. Do you know Do you know this one? This is, you know, we build upon our knowledge. We construct our knowledge as we engage in the work that we're doing and in the world around us. That it's not just, here's the information and we learn it, but we are building upon knowledge. It is multi-age. So you'll actually see each level. They're not setting it as a grade. Like say, let's say it's seven to nine and the next one might be eight to 10 because we know that there's different ages like within our grades, but then also no child is really one grade. And you might have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old both equally capable and this unit like being right for them. So why not do it together? You can do that. If you're concerned about where your child should be, don't worry. There's placement tests there on their website, which is great. And that'll help you to find the right one for your child. It is available as physical and also as online. Okay, so if you don't want to have all the workbooks or everything, you can do it online, which will give you the links to all the different videos and places that you're going to go and explore as you learn. So that can be a very valuable option as well. And as I said, it's there, complete big box full of stuff as it comes. If you were getting like that physical package, it is truly just wonderful. And so when I look at these pros, like I, that just to me gets, gets me very excited. It really, really does. Cons of moving beyond the page. Often when looking at curriculum and, you know, some friends have asked me like what I might recommend. I often hear the two things that people really look at is the cost and is it faith-based or not, okay? These can be two very important things for people. Let's look at the cost, okay? So for some, it might be cost prohibitive. Uh, if you're looking at the lowest level of like ages four to five, so kindergarten, you're really looking at around $475 and it can go all the way up to like $1,100, just really depending on which level you're in. Now, remember, this is for everything, okay? All the books, all the workbooks, everything is in there. Are there ways that you can reduce costs? Yes, you don't have to buy all the books through them. You know, you don't have to do math through them. So there are ways of reducing like some of the costs. But I understand that for people that this, co <gasps> it feels like a lot of money. But I would say, don't let that hold you back in really having a look at it if all these pros are exciting you. Now, the other one as well is, is it faith-based or not? I know that for many homeschoolers, they do want something that is faith-based. Well, moving beyond the page is not. So that might be a con for you. But let me just say, I, as you know, someone who has looked at many faith-based and what they're doing, I love the way that this approaches is, I think is very moral. I think that the way that it presents, you know, even Christianity and other religions as well through some of the different units is a wonderful thing. It's really getting that critical and that creative thinking in there. To me, there was no red flags that if you were a person of faith that you shouldn't be using like this curriculum at all. Like it's not, but it will say there on the website that it is a secular curriculum. So those are our two main cons there. Now, other ones would be that not all the curriculum is reusable. Okay, so yes, we've got all of our books, we've got like teacher's guides, whatever, but the workbooks that come with it are designed to be consumable that your child would use it and then you would have to purchase another workbook if you wanted to do this particular level again with another child. 
Okay, so some parts of it, but not all. And I know many people do want something that they can reuse like with all of their different children. Now the online version is only available, now you pay less money for the online version that you do than for the physical, but it's only available for 18 months, which is more than enough time to complete that entire level. I think it's great. They're not just saying one year, you get 18 months because we know sometimes things happen. And, uh, but this way you can't then just reuse it for another child later. And I know some people, they don't like the sound of that, but again, don't let that stop you really looking into this. Um, it is only up until the end of middle school. Notice that they've started, like they introduced a few things for like high school one, but it is fully complete up until the end of middle school. So really that's a pro, but if you were then like liking it so much and wanting to continue through high school right now, I say right now, it doesn't. Um, and it's also not specifically designed for children with learning disabilities. It's actually designed more for gifted children in mind. But then remember all the things that we use like for gifted children, benefit like all children really but I have used this for children with some learning issues again it comes down to where is their placement like where are they at okay and that's what the placement tests are good for so even if you have a child with some learning issues don't let this stop you I know it's like literature based and thinking of my child has dyslexia and there's lots of reading remember there are ways around it um, but you know do a placement test see where your child might be at and see what might work for you don't let that stop you. So as I look at this and I weigh up pros and cons, like for me, it is still a curriculum that I hold up like with very high standards. And I really do recommend because of all the things that for me that I love that critical and creative thinking, literature based unit studies, you know, all of like the rich hands on experiences. And for me, that can outweigh like the cons like of cost and all of that, because there are things that I could do like to make it work. So if this is exciting you, I encourage you go and check them out, movingbeyondthepage.com. Uh, and you will see they've got samples. They give you this open scope and sequence. You can see all the books that they're going to use, like some really, really amazing, amazing books in there, which would give you a really rich and rewarding homeschool experience. Well, thank you so much for watching today and for being part of this Learning Life community. Remember, this was not a sponsored post. This is me coming to you as someone who has used this curriculum and generally do love it. You know, if you want to help get these videos out, you know, we'll do more, you know, reviews out there. If you've got a curriculum you want me to review, let me know like down below. I will gladly research for you. I will gladly talk to people who have used it and bring what I think are the pros and the cons. And you can help get these videos out by becoming a champion. And you can do that through patreon.com or through my website, learningthis.life.